Good morning. It says we're live. It says we're live, but there's delay. A little I bit doubt, of a delay. I doubt people are hearing us yet, maybe. It looks like we already have a few people. Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. If somebody could just confirm that you can hear us. I know we were kind of working on some audio settings. I just got a notification that we're okay. live. That's a good sign. That is a good sign. All right, it looks like we got a couple people that says they can hear us. Awesome. See Ann here. Perfect, perfect. Great. Good morning, Douglas, Squilly. I'm not sure if that's how you, <laughs> how you say your name. Andrew, Ramon. We see Michael, Zachary, Stacy. Just wanted to say hello to you all. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, Marsha, new follow. New Ooh, fellow Midwesterner from Missouri. We, yes. I, I lived in Missouri for... You lived in Missouri, too, for, what, a couple of months? Not too long. I owned a condo <laughs> in Missouri for actually several years. Yeah, you did. Yeah, in the in Kansas City, Missouri, and we also spent time on the Kansas side in Overland Park. Mm -hmm. so you got people from North Carolina. Yeah, if everyone wants to share, we're always interested to know where people are watching from. Yeah. I think on our last live stream, we had people from even in like Eastern Europe and all over yeah, the world. Yeah, so, it was really cool. Yeah, it's always cool to know where people are from. Yeah. Also, let us know what the weather is like there. I know the weather's been crazy lately. I think yeah. where I'm from in Iowa, they just had snow like a <laughs> few days ago. It's a beautiful yeah. day here. It's like not to rub it in or anything, but it's like 75 degrees and sunny right now. Yeah. We're oh. pretty excited to get I mean, I'm excited for this live stream, but I'm excited to, for it to be over so we can get out and enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the, the sun because we've yeah. been cooped up over the last week mm -hmm. working on channel stuff. So looks like we got a lot more people joining the chat here. Michigan, Massachusetts. Okay. Good morning, Mike, Neil, Zero Pressure Got some acoustic. local St. Pete people on. That's good. World of Ephemera? Lawrence, can't someone from Lawrence? Oh, Berlin, that that's clear. Ralph. Oh, nice. Hi, Ralph. Good to see you hey, again. <laughs> Thanks for joining us from Germany. Yeah. And then we got, did you say Massachusetts, Michigan? Hi, Nikki. Oh, Squilly's from Marco Island. Oh, yeah, nice yeah. I think, I think we knew that from um, some prior comments. That's funny because we talked about it'd be cool to live on Marco Island because it's kind of not set up for tourists because it's you have to walk so far to get to the beaches. But yeah. we're like, if we actually lived on the beach, Marco Island would be pretty amazing. Yeah, that would be nice. All right. Oh, looks like, oh, sorry, I'm scrolling back up here to try to see everybody. Okay. All right, here we go. Massachusetts, Lawrence, Kansas. Oh, but live in From Clearwater. Lawrence, yeah. Okay. All right. I went to school in Lawrence. Yeah, Jamie went to KU. Mm -hmm. Grew yep. up not far from Lawrence. Yep. Oh, some are from Safety Harbor. Mar Michael's from Safety Harbor. Oh, man. Syracuse, it New is, York. It's 26 in South Washington, Dakota right now. Clearwater, Ooh. Largo. Oh, cold and raining where Nikki is. So sorry to Whoa, hear that. New, New Hampshire just got 22 inches of snow. What? Dang. So. South Dakota, it's in 26 degrees the, the there. The winter, our last Hi, winter in Kansas, <laughs> we got like three huge snowstorms like, you remember in march like, yeah march and that's kind of actually what was like the straw that broke the camel's back and <laughs> caused us to move to florida it's like we're not dealing with this anymore. i mean we were already talking about yeah. it but when that happened it was yeah. like all right we're getting out of yeah, here we put the house on the market and yep all right pennsylvania minnesota virginians <laughs> canada and it's cold <laughs> <laughs> ohio it's terrible right now. Oh, sorry to hear that. Somebody else from St. Pete, Clearwater. Oh, let's see. Chattanooga. Oh, we love Chattanooga. Syracuse. I think some of these. There we go. I might be kind of going back in the, in the oh, chat here. Got but... someone from London. Martha's Vineyard. Wow, that's cool. Kentucky. Kentucky. We Illinois. Really want... West Virginia, both places we want to go. West Virginia and Kentucky. We know there's great hiking, great rock climbing there. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll actually get there this year. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. That'd be awesome. All right. Um, awesome. I know we're, we're getting news. to it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We wanted to take a few minutes and, you know, give people an opportunity to, to kind of uh, log on here. Um, now, I see that a lot of people are engaging in the chat, which is awesome. Yes. We encourage you to do that. You know, we do have... Um, so, you know, our announcements here. But yeah, we, we have also, an outline we're yeah. going to kind of try to follow as usual just to keep us on track and keep things moving smoothly. But we're mm -hmm. always willing to go off on a tangent and answer whatever questions, whether they're 
related yeah. or not related to what we want to talk about. So keep the questions coming. Mm -hmm. We love them. We'll try to, <laughs> we'll try to keep up with them. It can be a little challenging, you know, live here. All right. All right we're five minutes in. So do you think, okay. do you think it's time to. Oh, um, I know y'all want to hear the announcements, but we did ask for questions oh, and we had yeah, gotten yeah, yeah. a question that we kind of wanted to answer before we get into all of that. Yeah. We'll try to do it quickly. Someone had asked, uh, someone that's actually moving to St. Pete in the fall. Yep. And mm -hmm. I think they just kind of wanted some general tips. Um, we actually moved to St. Pete or we moved to Sarasota, but we moved to Florida very okay. late summer, yeah. early fall. Um, I don't know. Whenever any, whenever you think of fall in Florida, you think of hurricanes. So <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you've already done your hurricane research, but for us, um, if I don't know if you know where you're living yet, but if you don't know where you're living and you're still looking, like if you're looking at apartments, I would put a priority on concrete construction apartments. You know, the one mm -hmm. we live in is concrete. We rode out a hurricane in it. It was quiet. We never felt in any sort of danger. Mm -hmm. Generally, you shouldn't have to evacuate. I think a lot of them are graded up to like category four. four. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that's something to think mm -hmm. about. But also like the location is yeah. a big thing too, uh, whether you're trying to find a place to buy or just to rent. Yeah, um, know to, your floodplains, yes. know your evacuation routes. Mm -hmm. That's important to know um, if, if you're going to be in like one of the very first evacuation zones because, you know. Yeah, make sure you got somewhere to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just be prepared for the, the <laughs> rain. Cause when we moved in, it was like late August or mid August. Um, the downpours here, yeah, they are different. We weren't ready for that. Be prepared to drive <laughs> while it's raining and the sun shining at the same time. That's a mm -hmm. bit of a fiasco. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and also like if anybody, well, I know that there are people here in this chat that are from St. Pete or people who have lived in St. Pete before. So if you have any other recommendations for people that are moving here in the fall, you know, feel free to, to share those in the chat. Um, also something I think we wanted to mention earlier, but we forgot if you are joining us like on a TV and you want to be able to participate in the chat and the polls, yeah. um, you might want to log into the live stream on your phone as well. Cause it's a lot easier to and we, be we able know to do that. There, and we know there's a lot of you cause YouTube gives us analytics. And like 50% of people watch our channel on their TV, mm -hmm. which is, yeah, way more than we expected. Yeah, so. and I don't, I honestly don't know, like if I was on a live chat on a TV, like how you could participate. Yeah, we've we haven't figured that, that out yet. People <laughs> can watch it on the TV, but I don't, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure you can participate. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Oh, about that question too, though. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to also mention that as far as like if we were moving to St., if we were moving to a different place in St. Pete, like for us, the main draws are the beaches and the downtown. But as we'll talk about more later, both of them are getting more and more expensive. So we would probably be looking to live in a place maybe in between the two, somewhere with good proximity to both, mm -hmm. but where you could save some money by not living in either. It, you got the Sunrunner that runs between downtown and the beaches. So if you live somewhere close to the Sunrunner line, that would be really nice because you can hop on that thing pay like a maximum of $5 per day, mm -hmm. ride it to the beach or downtown, and you don't have to worry about parking, which can be a pain, um, or yeah. proximity to the bike trail. That also oh, kind of yeah. runs between the beaches and downtown St. Pete. And you can take it from like all the way to the Bay. And then we've also taken it all the way up to Tarpon Springs. Mm -hmm. And just in general, like when you move just to be ready to like be busy every weekend because <laughs> there is like so much stuff to do, even though we've lived in the yeah. St. Pete area specifically for like four years or yeah. still so many places we haven't been so you many things after, we haven't done. <laughs> you think after four years of making this chant, doing this channel in St. Pete, like we have seen everything, but mm -hmm. there's so much stuff that there is. we haven't explored yet. All right. looks like we got some more people joining on the chat here. Let's take a quick look. All right. Yeah, we haven't been doing really good at I know. It's hard. Chat. It's hard. <laughs> We're still kind of <laughs> new at this. This is only our third one of these. So. All right. Hi, Darren and Vicky. Oh, it's 70, it's 74 in Berlin. Dang. That's uh, warmer than I would have expected. Ontario. Ooh, but coming to St. Pete on Sunday. Hope you have oh, nice. safe travels. Hello. Oh, it looks like we got Soon and Maya. Welcome, guys. Hey, guys. All right, Daniel. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Oh, thank you. Travel with Caribbean. Hi, Rocky. Ooh, Ooh Sweden. And bought a place. Rocky bought a place in St. Pete. Oh, congrats. Yeah, that's exciting news. 
Frederick from Sweden, Brian and Debbie from Michigan. <laughs> it rains every afternoon for like a straight month. I'm not <laughs> sure if you're talking about Florida or the Caribbean, but I think both apply, mm -hmm. especially Florida in the summertime. All right. Uh, they're looking at Lakeland area or Winter Park. Nice. We've got not friends too far close, away. close in that area. Oh, hey, Mr. Jersey. Thanks for joining. Oh, I see Ramon watching on oh. TV, but also on the phone to comment. We appreciate that. We really appreciate that. Awesome. All right. Oh, we got it. Oh, um, Mike, yeah, said YouTube on iPad syncs chat with TV. Oh, nice. That's, That's good, good to, to know. know. Yeah, we don't have an iPad, so we definitely wouldn't yeah, know that. Thanks, thanks, Mike. Oh, another tip uh, to research the neighborhood, drive around at night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's Absolutely. a great tip. <laughs> that applies to anywhere, but yeah, 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 that's always a good tip for sure. Yep. Uh, hi, Eka Mouse. I'm not sure if that's how to say your <laughs> your handle. I don't know how else you'd say it. <laughs> that's how I'd say it. All <laughs> right, Cheryl and Mike used to live in Clearwater, but want to move back. Uh, love the Pinellas Trail e biking. Yes, I know. we do hope to do more e biking. You know, I think that you had so much fun making the first one. I know, and then Jamie got her back issues shortly after yes, that. The so. only reason we haven't been doing more biking videos is because of that. But I think that it's, you know, I think we'll be able to to get back on them for longer distances very soon. All right. I'm from North Kenwood. Nice. All right. Very good neighborhood. Look into moving to North Kenwood. We like, we love Kenwood. Oh, there's three on from Bloomington. Nice. nice. All right. And Mr. Jersey, no, you did not miss the big news. <laughs> uh, we are getting no, we're to just it. we're <laughs> really slow. We're easily distracted. So. I know. I know. We've got some popcorn here. I think that's popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> here for the show. Okay. All right. All let's right. get to it. Yes. So. We actually have three big announcements, we believe do. it or not. Yes. And we've been kind of quiet lately, not as far as posting goes, but. Just as far as sharing, like yeah. really what's, you know, going on, like in our lives, obviously we've still been filming, we've still been posting videos, but yeah, it, that's mainly because we've been trying to figure stuff <laughs> yeah, out. We, behind we the haven't scenes. known ourselves what's going on with our lives. So mm -hmm. it's yes. hard to make plans. It's hard to share anything mm -hmm. when, when we don't know what the hell we're doing. But exactly. We finally, we finally figured it out and we're excited to share yes, it. So we, we finally made decisions. The first uh, announcement, <laughs> it's your big announcement. So I will let you. I'll let you share. All right. So we have decided that it is finally time for me to join Skylar full time, focusing on the channel and content creation. So I have put in my notice at my job and very soon we'll be able to both be focusing on the channel, which, you know, that has been something we have talked about for a long time, kind of being a goal. Yeah, of ours that's always be been like that. the initial big goal for both of us to be mm -hmm. doing this full time. Mm -hmm. um, I think we both were hoping it would be a really easy decision. <laughs> I think we mm -hmm. hope by this time the channel would be making enough money that it'd be like, oh, yeah, Jamie can quit her job. We'll, yeah. we'll survive off of our YouTube revenue. No problem. <laughs> uh... We're still not quite at that point. No. Um, yeah, it, it was it was a little bit harder of a decision. Uh, you know, last year we had a lot of challenges with my health and it just really limited where we could go and what we could mm -hmm. do as far as the content we wanted to create. And there were also some things that were outside of our control. Yeah. Like a lot of you probably notice when you go on YouTube now, you get recommended a lot of short content because they're trying to compete with TikTok. Mm -hmm. And that's just less recommendations of our videos. Since we don't really do shorts, we're long form. That's our passion. We don't really, mm -hmm. we've done a few shorts, but it's not really something we enjoy as much as making our long form content. So mm -hmm. it's been a little bit tougher just to get those impressions because YouTube is focusing a lot on shorts right now. Yeah. And also I think we talked about this, like just the economy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, inflation has obviously hit everyone mm -hmm. because, because of inflation, you know, it's everything around here, especially has skyrocketed, especially mm -hmm. Grimm's. Yes, we'll talk about that, I think, a little bit more later. But we everyone's will. got less disposable income. With mm -hmm. less disposable income, you generally have less money to travel. And that means for at least some people, they're they're probably not going to be watching as many travel videos when they are not able to go on any travels themselves. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. But kind of getting back to... <laughs> not <laughs> like... trying to be overly <laughs> negative and just make excuses for why. 
yeah. we're not seeing the growth we hope, but, but still, there like, has with, been challenges, but, but we're even still with growing. all those challenges. Yeah, yeah. I think what was really positive for us is that the channel did still continue to grow, even though we had all these kind of barriers to it. Um, so yeah, that's also why it just, it made that decision so much harder and it took us a long time to come to that decision. But I think it was at the end of last year that we both got to the point of exhaustion, you know, Skylar was focusing on the channel almost all the time. Mm -hmm. I was working full time and then getting off work and having to focus on the channel. And it just, it wore us down. And yeah. Yeah. Andrew, Andrew said the nine to five can be soul sucking. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank it, you. It can, it 100% can. And, mm -hmm. But you actually enjoyed your job. Yeah, yeah. You know, then that also made it more difficult. The only reason it was soul sucking, I think, was because when you were done with your job, you would then be trying to, you'd be working into the mm -hmm. night every night on the channel. And yeah, it's just exhausting. Yes. And so. obviously the job, even though you enjoyed it, you know, it's still taking away your time from the true passion, right. which is the channel. Yes. The passion was over here for sure. Um, but, you know, with getting to that point of exhaustion, you, we had so many conversations about this that we were just to the point where we needed to make a clear decision. And I think we had kind of the end end timeline of March of this year to decide, okay, are we going to go all in on this, be 100% the both of us, or are we just going to quit and walk away? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we honestly didn't know which way we were going to go. Mm -hmm. um, March came around, the income still wasn't quite where we wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. But I think we both just started thinking about it. And you always hear from people like older people, especially you tend to regret the things you didn't do in life and not the chances you didn't take and not the mm -hmm. things you did do. And we got to thinking about it, you know, what, how would we look back on this if down the road, we're like, oh, I wonder what would have happened if we would have given this 100%. Yeah. Like up to this point, I feel like we've given it like 70%, you know, because Jamie's always, always got her 40 hour a week job. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like, how are we going to compete with those other travel channels that are full time that can on a whim, go travel anywhere that can be mm -hmm. traveled, don't have six weeks, five weeks out of the year that they have to pack all their travels into. Plus they just have more time to edit, to, to do everything. Like mm -hmm. how are we realistically gonna compete with them and get our channel to where we want it to be when one of us is tied to a full-time job, so. Yeah. Yeah. I see some people in the chat have talked about, oh, you can go to other places. Yes, I mean, there are so <laughs> many other places that we have wanted to go, but you know, with the limited time and, you know, just driving to an area of the state and staying there for a couple of days and coming back, like it just, it just wasn't realistic. So it, we are going to be a lot more flexible and hopefully have a lot more opportunities for travel once this transition um, happens. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We're both very excited. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, think... we are. I know. <laughs> I think this I mean, is probably it... the most excited we've been yeah. for a live just to like, share this news. And we do still have a few more things to share. Um, was there, there anything else you wanted to kind of touch on for that announcement? I know we, I think we had a poll we wanted to put up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's do the first poll. Okay. Jamie's going to type up the poll. I'll try to look through all these questions and maybe answer some of them. Go back a little bit. Um, oh yeah. Maybe yeah. Should... Just quick. Uh, oh. Thank you to everybody yeah. who's saying congratulations. Yeah. We really appreciate your support, you know, without you all, um, you know, being a part of this journey with us, we wouldn't have been able to come to that decision. Yeah. So we really do appreciate that. Oh, from Omaha Brothers, Captain Overland Park Police Department. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. We spent good connection to have. Yeah. We spent time in <laughs> Omaha. We also spent, you know, lived in Overland Park. Yeah. yeah Very we familiar did. with those areas. Yeah. We loved Overland Park. All we right. had a house there. Oh. Go Starks is biking in St. Pete today. I don't oh, know nice. if we're going to be in Grand, Grand Central today, but you know what? We are there pretty frequently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are. Well, mainly for the music. Yes. Grand Central Brewery it has good beers. Mm -hmm. Good beers good and music. really good music. Yes. All right. Oh, thank you, everybody, just for, for your support and congrats. We. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so many people just saying oh. congratulations. We really appreciate it. Okay. All right. Now I'll, I'll get this poll up. I know it's hard to <laughs> keep up here. I wish like you could scroll through the chat and I could do the poll. I mean, you yeah. probably can do that somehow, but we're, All right, yeah. we're let's, not typical live just streamers. Get the poll up. Okay. Do you want to tell them what it is while I'm putting it in so they can think about their answers? Yes. Okay. 
So basically, we just want to know what you'd do if you were in Jamie's situation. Would you have quit the job to pursue the dream? Would you have quit the channel and made me get a real job? <laughs> or would you keep trying to do both? Because who needs sleep, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, I need sleep. And I think that we decided or agreed to that. Okay. Got to add another option here. Sorry, we have like four screens and it's hard to I know. Yeah, all it's, of them. it's a mess. Okay. I don't know what we're doing. Did I got here. that? <laughs> Quit the job. At, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is anonymous we're not gonna see who <laughs> voted for what yeah. so vote honestly we want to know yeah we're we curious. really want to know what people think i i think i have a pretty good idea of what's gonna win but you never know okay we've been oh, surprised sorry, before. this one's too long that's why i clicked the channel oh that's why it's not letting me do that okay sorry this poll All right. just say yeah just change that one to quit the channel okay. get make scholar get a job s get a job because <laughs> Quit the channel. <laughs> yep. All right. Yeah, we're very limited on characters yeah, here, it does unfortunately. Not... Okay. Yeah. So the poll is finally going live, guys. Sorry about that. So it's <laughs> quit the job to pursue the dream. The second one is really quit the channel and make him get <laughs> a real job. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the third one is try to do both. All right. We got some answers coming in. Ooh, interesting. All right. Well, we'll give it a little bit here. Maybe we can still look at the chat while people are voting. Okay. A lot of great suggestions on places to go. And yeah, basically oh. now we have a unlimited potential on where we can mm -hmm. go. So mm -hmm. all these places look amazing. Asheville, we've been to Asheville. We love it. We're definitely going back. I saw the Adirondacks in there. We'd love to go hiking there. Yeah. Someone had said go to Brazil. Ooh, definitely yes. would love to go. Love to we want to go all over South America, but yeah, Brazil included mm -hmm. for sure. Oh, I see. Daniel said, loving our channel because we show things that nobody else does. I think we're nice. going to be able to do that a little bit more, but that ties into kind yeah. of our third announcement. So we will get to that as well. All right. Oh, Brittany joining late. So our first announcement is that I'm finally able to uh, join Skylar and focus on the channel full time. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you. Quality of content is key to success. Yes, agree. Thank you. Hopefully that will only improve now that we have more, more hours available to focus on editing yeah. and filming. Oh, soon says great videos on rental reviews. Yes, you're right. We should. Thank you. Yeah, we do appreciate that. And we get a lot of people that ask us about places to stay. So we would like to be able to, you know, have more mm -hmm. recommendations. Yeah, unfortunately, for, for when, when you live... 10 minutes away, there's not much reason to stay out there. We just do day trips primarily, but, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's one thing. Touring the places is really nice because we can show people mm -hmm. what they look like, what the price range is, yeah. even yep. though we don't necessarily stay there ourselves. Yeah. Oh, I've got a recommendation for Bend, Oregon. Oh, somebody yes. moving downtown Bend, two and a half years beautiful. ago. Awesome. Okay. It's kind of jumping around Croatia, here. Croatia, yes. All of Eastern Europe. All right. Oh, who came up with the name of the channel? Um, man, that was years ago. Yeah. It was kind of, I think it was kind of together. I mean, well, it was, that was whenever it was name, more. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, was so a joint decision, ago. I think. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. This channel has been around a long time. We just haven't taken it serious that long. Mm -hmm. But we actually made it. God, a long time ago. Seven, eight years ago, probably. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we really love like traveling, but doing more than just going and like relaxing. Like we really right. enjoyed exploring well, the places that we went to. Right. Yeah. And at the time it was all our content was on our vacations and we, yeah, we've always loved to explore. So I mm -hmm. think it was just, yeah, a combination of exploration and vacation. We put yep. them together. Thankfully it wasn't taken yet. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how it ended up. Oh, somebody's asking uh, the job. Oh, so the job that I'm leaving, it's in the insurance industry. So nothing. And someone crazy. had mentioned the hard thing about quitting the job is, you know, have, not having the income to fund the travels. Yeah. And absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And that's, again, going to tie into our next announcement. Some mm -hmm. of you already know what it is or have predicted what it is. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Let's end this poll here. Okay. We can get, get right, to the yeah. next one. Okay. Oh, All right. You closed the results. Yeah, there they are. Oh, okay. There yeah. They are. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. So 84% of you said you'd quit the job to, to pursue the dream. Okay. And more than half of you didn't vote. Come on. 
That's probably the people that are on their TV that can't vote. I know, vote. It, yes. So we're just going to assume you're on your TV and you can't vote because there's really no reason not to vote. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I expected. You know, no, all, everyone on here is supporters of our channel. There's one person that said they wished us we wouldn't have quit the channel. Thank you for being honest. I don't <laughs> no, know why was, you're. It was the. Oh, the, if it was them, do. you're yes, right. You're yes, right. That doesn't yes. mean they wished we would have, mm -hmm. but they would have. Yeah. And that's totally understandable because we almost made that decision. I know. Seriously, like it's it's been a scary, yeah. it's exciting, but also scary. Because <laughs> honestly, if we both just quit the channel and we were both working, like we could live very comfortably here in downtown St. Pete. We could keep living in this nice apartment with our mm -hmm. nice amenities. We could go to the beach every weekend. We could, you know, we could just live a nice, comfortable life. But again, the true passion is the channel. Yep. So we got to at least give it a try. Yeah, okay. exactly. All right. I think it's time we probably should go on to the second announcement. <laughs> Someone says, do not quit the channel. Well, don't worry. We're, we're not. <laughs> we are at committed least, to it, yeah. at least for now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you ready for the second announcement? Exactly. Someone said, if YouTubing full-time doesn't work, you can always get a new job. Exactly. Yep. We're both, we both have degrees. We're both very employable, we think. Hopefully, <laughs> by the time, if this does fail yeah. miserably and we got to go get jobs, hopefully the economy's decent by then. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But at least, yeah, we'll, we'll look back and know... We, we gave it our all. And, you know, I think that we could feel good either way. Mm -hmm. Looking back, you know, if it's successful, awesome. Right. If yeah. it's not, we can still feel good. Yeah. About even it. if it fails, even if a year from now it has the channel hasn't grown at all, you know, whatever. We traveled for a year, you know, and mm -hmm. like we said, we'll go get jobs and we'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Is it time all for right, the second yeah. announcement? All right. <laughs> second announcement. I don't even remember what it is anymore. All right. Well, remember, we got, oh, we yeah. got our little outline here to remind I think, us. Okay. So I think the second announcement is the one that a lot of you predicted. It's one that several several of you expressed concern about. Mm -hmm. Or asked about. Yeah. yeah made and comments it, about. You know, it, it does tie in with Jamie quitting her job because we are going to have a lot less income coming in now, at least in the short term. So we are going to have to start making budget cuts, cut our mm -hmm. expenses. And unfortunately, the easiest way to do that for us is by moving. Yes. Now, so. don't <laughs> freak out. <laughs> we don't yet know exactly where we're going to be mm -hmm. moving to. And we're not leaving Florida. Yeah, definitely not leaving Florida. We're not Florida. leaving Florida. And we're probably not even going to be leaving the Tampa Bay area. Um, yeah, but, probably not. Um, there is going to be a video that will be available like right after this live chat that's going to talk a little bit more about the areas that we're looking into and mm -hmm. why we're we're moving. Um, but and that, that, that video mm -hmm. actually ties into our third announcement, which mm -hmm. we're going to get to in a little bit. Yeah. Um, that video will include yeah, more information on what went into the decision of why we were moving where mm -hmm. we might, where we might be moving to. Yeah. But I think before we get into that, we got one more poll question. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. One yep. more poll, then we'll get into the final announcement. Yeah. Okay. I'll start getting that up. Rupert's to... story says you'll never, ever forget pursuing your dreams. Life is short. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's ultimately the mindset that led us to making the decision. Okay start a new poll. This one shouldn't take as long. Okay. You want to tell them what it is while I'm typing it? Okay. So the third poll. Oh, so basically we both grew up in rural areas and then we met and bought a house in a suburban area. Now we live in a very urban area and in moving, you know, it's still a struggle for us um, deciding where we want to be. There's so much appeal to all three places and it's hard for us to decide like mm -hmm. what our favorite is i still don't think we have a definitive favorite but we're really curious about what your favorite is so like where would you live if money wasn't an issue mm -hmm. um you know where's your dream house is it a condo in a urban area here in downtown st pete is it in a house in the suburbs is it a cabin out in the country? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're just curious what everyone's preference mm -hmm. is, urban, suburban, or rural. And then we also or, have a, an option for those who yeah. can't decide. Yeah, if you're like, like us and still have no idea, then you, you can click indecisive. Okay, yeah. that's good to see. Most people are, are much decisive. more decisive than we are. Yeah. 
yeah, so vote in the poll. And I see some people have also like I thrown out some areas to to consider moving to. I think says seen... bring us along on your house hunting journey. Ooh. That's so that's like such a great comment because that I is. think we've been talking about doing that. Mm -hmm. I um I think we got to be careful just because we're on YouTube about letting people know exactly where we're going to mm -hmm. live. I think we're going to try to avoid that, but that doesn't mean that we can't still show um, the moving process from like where we're moving yeah. out of and show little glimpses of where we're moving to and, mm -hmm. and that process. So yeah, yeah, I think we do plan on doing that. Hopefully. Yeah. We saw some recommendations for safety Harbor, for Seminole, for Largo, just yeah. some areas that a are a little bit cheaper in, than downtown well, St. Pete. Yes. <laughs> oh, Belize. Ooh, we have, we've only been to Belize once on a cruise on a yeah. cruise. So, you know, it's a, and it was Not very like, often. and it was well, like was... the cruise port only, so it wasn't the real experience. Mm -hmm. but yeah, we would love to. It was beautiful though. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ooh. twenty-two acres in the middle of the woods in New Hampshire. That sounds pretty amazing. Oh, she's moving from, from to from. the suburbs somewhere close to Orlando. Okay, okay. So that'll be a quite a, a yeah. change. Very big change. All right. I mean, I understand wanting to leave New Hampshire because of the winters, but. 22 mm -hmm. acres in the middle of the woods sounds pretty appealing, <laughs> Yeah, especially for me. Mm -hmm. I assume there's probably good hiking around. I, I could definitely do that. Well, I think you and I talked about this, but just kind of growing up in rural areas and just the, what you it can has, do there. It has a lot of perks, you know, you don't have to really follow any rules. There's no codes out there. You can, mm -hmm. there's no noise ordinances, you know, you can be loud, you can have bonfires, you can, you know. You just have peace. You got quiet. You can see the stars. There's a lot of benefits to living in a rural area, but there's a lot of drawbacks too, obviously. Mm -hmm. You got to get in your car and drive miles to go anywhere. Yeah. Like for me growing up in a rural area, you know, during the summer, all my friends were in town and I was five miles out in the country. So mm -hmm. it was basically just me and my brother hanging out together, you know, fighting all summer. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's, that kind of sucked. But at the same time, we had our motorcycles, we had our three wheelers mm -hmm. and everything that we could ride all over the countryside. And that was awesome. And then the opposite is true in urban areas. You, mm -hmm. you give up the peace, you give up the quiet, you give up the open spaces, but you have all the convenience of being able to walk to bars, restaurants, grocery store, mm -hmm. ride our bikes. Sometimes we don't even drive our car for a week, yep. you know, which we love. Mm -hmm. And then suburban, it's a little mix of both. You generally have a little more space, a little closer to stores and stuff, but you still normally have to get in your car to go anywhere. So it's got its downfalls too. Yeah. But we understand why people, why that is winning the poll right now, because yeah. it's All right, in a way, right it's now. kind of the best of both worlds. Yeah. Only 1% is indecisive. That is, that would have been our vote. It would have been 2%. <laughs> All right. Voted. So yeah, ended up 46% suburban, 28% rural, 23% urban, and 1% indecisive, like us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. Thank you, yeah. everyone, for voting. Yeah, we appreciate you voting and uh, just kind of sharing your recommendations for places to look into. I saw Dunedin thrown in there, a few other areas. Uh, Let's okay, so here. Carrie had said living in middle New Hampshire out in the woods is just mm -hmm. a little too quiet. That's understandable. Yeah. yeah. For us, I think ultimately we like change. I think yeah. right now it sounds amazing to live in a rural area because we've been in the city for four years. But once we're out there for a few years, I think we'd probably be ready to yeah. move back to the city. So yeah. variety is the spice of life, at, at least for us. Yep. All right. Okay. Oh, average tourist. Thanks for joining. No yeah, worries. Thank you. The first big announcement is that I'm going to be joining Skylar full time on the channel. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and the second big announcement is that we are moving. Um, we're not sure where yet, but yeah. not probably not outside of the Tampa Bay area. Yes. Yes. But it's probably time to share the third and final announcement that kind of ties in yeah. all that as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, okay. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right. I've been talking too much. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I know it's hard because I'm trying to watch the chat and also do the polls. So, oh, you've been doing great. Okay. So our third announcement uh, does have to do with some big changes coming to the channel exploration. Since we are going to have more time to travel and we anticipate that a lot of those travels are going to be taking us away from St. Pete, you know, hopefully mm -hmm. getting on some more cruises, going to some different resorts, going and exploring other parts of Florida, maybe mm -hmm. some other states, some other countries. Um, Basically doing what we originally set out for this channel to be. Mm -hmm. uh, the intention was always for it to be like a travel, a legit travel channel where we explored Florida and the country and the world. Mm -hmm. And then COVID happened mm -hmm. and you couldn't travel for the longest time. We yeah. started doing, we also just like learned how much we loved St. Pete. So we just yeah. started making St. Pete content. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we fell in love with St. Pete. It worked out great. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this St. Pete content grew traction so we just kept making it but ultimately now that we're both full-time we want to take the main i kind of gave it up we want, <laughs> we want to take the channel in the direction it was always intended to yeah. but but we, we do, do want still to still plan to yeah. make like saint pete content tampa bay area content but so the announcement is that it's going to be on a brand new channel Mm -hmm. So we have made a second channel and that channel is Jamie and Skylar. Should be easy to remember. Yes. <laughs> Jamie and Skylar, Skylar with an A. Mm -hmm. And it's going to have, you know, a little bit different content than the, the type of content that we have typically yeah. produced on exploration. Because we, we do not have time to make a second like channel where we edit the videos like exploration. Like there's mm -hmm. no way we could do that. But so this new channel, is going to be much shorter videos possibly mm -hmm. some shorts that are just like up and down, but you know, a lot of typical horizontal videos that are just shorter, but they're going to be a million times less edited. So. Yeah. I think it's going to be more like real yeah, kind of like real everyday raw, life raw like and uncut. living in Florida. Yeah. Uh, somebody's asking for a link. I'm actually getting that right now. Yes. And okay. this new channel is also where you can see our first video, which we're going to post at the end of this stream. That video is going to talk more about, are moving like where we what might be moving to why we made the decision mm -hmm. and then when we do finally make the move i think that new channel since it's going to focus more on like our personal lives that's where we'll yeah. let everyone be the first to know where we're moving to like mm -hmm. not the exact place but roughly the area and yeah such so and i think it's going to allow us to to share even more content because right now on exploration the the type of videos that Ooh, that already channel, got another subscriber <laughs> on channel. Yes. but you know, the type <laughs> of videos that, that people expect on that channel are the, the more produced and edited style of videos, which take a long time. So yes, you know, there, there's some videos that take, you know, almost two weeks to get to the point where it's ready to post on that channel. Whereas our new oh, channel, yeah. look at all the subs oh, rolling you in. Ooh, thank oh you. my gosh. <laughs> so the goal of this channel though, it's, this is going to be more for our enjoyment. You know, it, we're not going to have goals of making a certain right. amount of money or getting a certain amount of views on it. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing this for our St. Pete people because we do want to keep making St. Pete content. But mm -hmm. like Jamie said, I think it's going to actually allow us to make more St. Pete content because we're not going to spend hours editing it. And like, we're going to go to a lot of places just because they're our favorite places, just because we like them. Mm -hmm. And they might be little holes in the wall that <laughs> yes. don't film well. You wouldn't <laughs> want to put in a video, but like the food is amazing. Those places are going to be on our channel now because we don't really care. Right. We don't care. We don't care. We want to show people like our favorite stuff, but we don't care if YouTube pushes it out to a wide audience, you know? Right. Yeah. And yeah, I think that there's a lot of like places and things that we would have loved to have shared on the exploration channel, but yeah. it just, it just didn't fit for the type of content that right. we were creating over there. And over there, we, you know, we are trying to, to make that living mm -hmm. off of it. And so, yeah, we got to make videos over there yes. that we love, but also that are going to be successful. And we just kind of know, like, we'd love to go make videos about dive bars in St. Pete, but it's probably going to get 10,000 views. It's probably going to be only from our subscribers. So mm -hmm. things like that now, while, while we're not going to make a big compilation video, we're not going to put a what's new St. Pete video on this new channel. 
what we will do is we'll go we'll out go to new places. We'll go still. to new places still that we actually want to go to, but we mm -hmm. won't feel like we have to go to them to make a video. So yeah, we'll probably post a five minute video of us just well, maybe a two minute it's, it's video. It's hard to say, yeah, you know, because this is so new. But so. it's going to be a video of us just trying one new place, showing you what we got, talking about it, giving us our honest feedback. But you're mm -hmm. not going to see the highly edited 20 minute long What's New St. Pete videos yeah. anymore. But we'll see, you know, we'll see how it, it goes. You know, this is a whole new venture. I know somebody's put in the chat about hiring a video editor. We would love to do that in the future. Yeah. We're not there financially uh, yet. <laughs> we're not. And my editing style will need to be adjusted. The way we do everything will need to be adjusted because I spend so much time editing our videos. Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't be fair to give an editor like five hours of content and be like, here you go, make a video. Yeah. So <laughs> yep. <laughs> eventually, though, yes, we want to hire an editor. It's unfortunately going to be a ways down the road. But mm -hmm. yes, hey, we got another subscriber. Thank you. Oh, my Editors gosh. Tourists. I just want to thank you guys for, oh my gosh. We got for a subscribing. Really nice, super thanks. Oh. Thank you so much, Andrew. Support for the channel. Oh, planning vacations around the content we provided. We, we love thank to hear you. those kinds of content. And that's why we we need to make this second channel because we yeah. want to keep providing that stuff. We want to give mm -hmm. you guys tips. We want to show you the places around where we live that we love and also mm -hmm. just share a little bit more about our lives. And we mm -hmm. think this will be well, the perfect place to do it. I mean, yeah, it's, it's two different types of content that I think we've really wanted to, to mm -hmm. create. So like, yeah, well, I think we'll still be able to create that content that is more edited and, and hopefully will really help people continue to plan their vacations and enjoy their time whenever they're here in Florida. Um, as well as that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like, Oh, I don't know, kind of off the cuff, hidden gems that, yeah. <laughs> that just wouldn't make it into that other type of content. So exactly. if you can't tell, we are really excited about it. <laughs> and, you know, thank you all for you going over and subscribing. We, we really appreciate your help and just kind of getting that one up and running. Yeah. And yeah, you, I'm Andrew, excited to go over there the and see chat. how many subs we have already. Mm -hmm. But um, as far as that channel goes, since we're going to be making videos over there, kind of just when we have the time and when we're doing something fun that we want to share, we're, we're not going to have a consistent uploading schedule. So it's extra important that you turn those notifications on because you're not just going to be able to log on at 10 a.m. every Saturday and expect a video They're They're mm -hmm. going to be pretty random. So subscribe, turn those notifications on. Yeah. And that way you'll actually get a notification when there's a new video. Obviously, you don't have to watch it there right away but you know at least you'll know the new videos up on the channel yeah all right well i think i mean we had a lot of information or a lot of announcements to share and that was the the last one was there any any topics that you wanted to make sure to address with those announcements um i, I know we no i think we actually covered everything <laughs> yeah How, all right we're, dang we're 42 minutes into this thing i think I that was longer than we expected but I know, but that's, that's okay. okay. You know, it's because everybody is, you know, oh chatting. Um, thank you thank so much. You soon. Soon. Thank you all just for, for all of your support. Like, again, I know that I've said, I said this earlier, but we, we wouldn't be at this place without you all, you know, right. we exactly. absolutely would not. And yeah. so again, we were just so excited to get on here this morning. I think we were probably even a little more nervous about this one just because we had such exciting news to share and, you know, even though like we're excited about it, you don't know like how the community is going to respond, but you know, we shouldn't right. have to worry about that. We I, know you guys are yeah. all awesome and, it and was would a, support us. It was, that was huge in the decision too about going full time. Like we know we want to take the main channel in this direction where it's likely to be more successful um, with a greater audience by making more consistent content. And not going back and forth between like a cruise, downtown St. Pete, right. a resort, you know, a, you know, who knows what else. It's just we're kind of all over the place. And to be mm -hmm. successful, you can't really do that. And it's like, well, we don't want to give up our St. Con Pete content either because we love St. Pete. Yep. We have a lot of people that, you know, subscribe to our channel and supported us because of our St. Pete content. So we had to find a way we could continue to do both. Yeah. And I think. I think this is going to work out really well. I think so too. Hope you guys like it. And yeah, we appreciate the support. All right. What's your favorite Florida IPA? Finally, a beer Ooh. question. I've been waiting <laughs> for that. Um, so it was something called Queen Crush that was at Cage Brewery mm -hmm. here in St. Pete. Um, that brewery got bought, has new owners. Uh, Which a lot of it, a lot of the beer stayed the same. Some but of the we... beers, but we're thinking the original owner might have taken that beer with them because 
they do not have that beer anymore. Which well, is, we we haven't seen it. I'm pretty sure I asked the bartender have... and they said it's not coming. Oh, back. did you? Okay. I, I, that may be not true okay. at all. Maybe I'm imagining that. But <laughs> anyway, it was Queen Crush. We don't know where mm-hmm. Queen Crush is anymore. If, if anybody knows, it, yes, let if us you know. know. Please let us know. <laughs> it was my favorite beer. Queen Crush. <laughs> um, now that Queen Crush is gone, I mean. Probably I, one of those, maybe one of those Brutalist IPAs. Oh, yeah. But then that closed. I know. <laughs> All our favorite beers so, are going some away. Of the, some of the Brutalist beers are still available. Oh. It's just, it, oh, okay. You thought of something else? Well, we just went to um, Golden Isles. Golden Isles. Right? It's going to be in our next What's New video. Mm-hmm. They have a very good double IPA, I believe it was. So that might be my new favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Golden um, Isles. Go there and get their, get their double IPA. Yeah. Somebody Highly asked what our plans it. were for later today. I think we talked about that. Oh, yeah. Drinking beer, obviously. No. <laughs> well, well, hopefully. Yeah. Probably, yes, you will be drinking <laughs> beer. We want to get out in the sun, you know, because we have really been getting that new channel ready and mm-hmm. just doing a lot of channel related yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's, that's been a little bit of work. We've and just been inside a lot lately, and today it's nice yeah, and it's sunny beautiful. out. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's supposed to be like a high of 78 and sunny mm-hmm. today. So we're definitely going to get outside, mm-hmm. get some sun. Drink a few drinks. Go see some live music. Yes, That's tonight the plan. we're going to go see one yep. of our favorite musicians in the area. Yeah, we're going to go just kind of celebrate yeah. all these big announcements, sharing it with you all. Um, oh, somebody asked if we have a P.O. box. We don't now, but that is something I think we'll probably look into because we've had a few people ask about that. Mm-hmm. So not yet, but hopefully in the future. All right. Uh, I know somebody else had asked about another um, meetup. I think we will yeah. schedule that. You know, yeah, but... we wanted to take care of this whole moving situation first, which still and, and we'll make this decision. You know, because yeah. we were just yeah. so wishy. Not, I wouldn't say wishy washy, but uh, it's a big decision. It, it was, was just, a big decision. It was really hard for us to make, but mm-hmm. once we're moved, once we know where we're living, once we get all that figured out, I think we'll shift to start planning a meetup. Okay. I know yeah, pro- it'll good. probably be somewhere in the St. Pete Ooh, area again. Somebody knows the head brewer of Cage. So what? Let oh us my know God, what Mike. you find out. Thank you. <laughs> Hell yes, Mike. Let awesome. us know. All right. Late June. <laughs> is it hot and lots of rain in Tampa? It is hot and it can be. It can be very rainy, but what it just depends. What time of year? June? Yeah. June's June. like the beginning, the start of the rainy season. So it's you probably still more typical, some... like you get your afternoon showers. Yeah. But it is typically pretty well, hot. Well, even in the even like in August, September, when you're like right in the middle of the rainy season, mm-hmm. you still get a lot of sunshine. You just get a downpour for like an hour every day, unless it's a hurricane. Then you might it might rain for four days straight. But yeah, all right. Oh, Florida man, you you do like Florida man? I do like Florida yeah. man. Yeah. It is so good. you know, Cigar City. A lot of people. It got purchased by one of those big breweries. They fired a bunch of their brewers. I heard so. A lot of people oh. are saying Cigar City is changing and going downhill. I did drink a Florida Man IPA not too long ago, and it was still delicious, though. So <laughs> it's still up there. Hopefully yeah. hopefully they won't change it because, yes, that's a great beer. Mm-hmm. Oh, so have we been to the Sunseeker? Yes. If oh, you go yeah. on our channel, one of our most recent videos, we do a full tour of the Sunseeker Resort. Exactly. So, yes, we have. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's like, not on the beach, but it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Oh, go to Ricky T's for beers. Okay. You should. Okay. Yeah. Is that, is that also a good place for um, Bloody Marys? Is I think the... we've heard that. Yeah. I think we've heard that. I've not been to Ricky T's. I don't know. See, yeah, it's we, another one of those places. We always hear that... good things about it, but yeah, it's just, we never made it there. Mm-hmm. RV Living. That would be fun. Yeah. You know? And I, I think we could have a fun time doing that. I could, I, we've considered that. We mm-hmm. we were like, could we work in an RV? Would that be enough space? If we didn't have to edit videos, if we had an editor, 100%, because we just drive around making the content, let someone else worry Mm -hmm. about the editing, and we could live in an RV for sure. Yeah. But the editing would be That would be the challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Do we sometimes worry about hurricanes? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not as much as you'd probably expect. Mm -hmm. Like we touched Um, on earlier, we live in a concrete apartment complex, so... um, It all depends on, like, where where you live. Well, yeah. And And if if your area floods... If you... And if you're mm-hmm. a renter, like who cares? Especially like we are, we're on a fifth floor in a concrete building. Our stuff is safe. But if you own a house in a floodplain, like we would be very worried. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All all depends on your situation. But one tip about that uh, for hurricanes, if you know you're you're new to experiencing hurricanes, watch the local people. Don't watch the national news stations. Yes. They yeah. are just like all hype. 
find a good local person um, that you trust. Have we tried Funky Buddha? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, we were mm-hmm. in Miami, gosh, five, six years ago, probably, but we did have Funky mm-hmm. Buddha there. We went to the brewery and we get their local beers occasionally and we are fans. Oh, average tourist get an RV, go up to Ontario. Yes, <laughs> yeah. we would love that. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Yeah, since mm-hmm. we can put whatever type of content we want on this new channel, we might as well, <laughs> might as well start doing yeah. some camping. Oh, got a recommendation for Wednesday Speakeasy at the Floridian. They've, oh, nice. They did a really good job redoing um, that state. Oh, yeah, that place is mm-hmm. beautiful. It's now the Floridian. Any bottomless brunch places? I'm sure there are. We Ooh. we went to a bottomless Bloody Mary and Mimosa place, but yeah. that's changed ownership since right. then. I know there's mm-hmm. a lot of places that do the Bloody Marys and Mimosas. Mm-hmm. Oh, the brunch. What's that place we went to that had the buffet? A brunch buffet? Down south. That buffet. old place. God, I can't think of it. Anyone know what mm. I'm talking about? We, we put it in our video. It was like oh, a it's... year ago. I can't remember. It. Okay. Well, if the name comes to mind, I'll let you know. Right. They do a brunch buffet, I think, every yeah. Saturday and Sunday. Mm-hmm. They also have like that little English tea room type place inside. Oh, yeah. the Chataway. The Chataway, yeah. The Chataway. That's yep. a bottomless brunch. Mm-hmm. It, it is good. like buffet style, but it was yep. very good. We'd recommend yep. it. Chat away, yeah. the Amanda show. Thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> uh, recommend a real estate agent. You know, unfortunately, like in the St. Pete area, you know, we've just been renting. Yeah. Yeah. No, we've never needed a real estate agent. So. In St. Pete. Yeah. We did in Sarasota. In Sarasota. Yeah. Yes. But they're not going to be experts up right. here. We wouldn't mm-hmm. recommend any of them for St. Pete. So sorry. All right. Favorite beach? Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Like our favorite like area of beaches still has to be like Anna Maria Longboat Key, Siesta Key. Mm-hmm. Yep, for sure. But St. Pete Beach is it's still amazing awesome. for like if mm-hmm. you're wanting to party on the beach, want to have drinks, mm-hmm. St. Pete Beach is the way to go because there's like a beach bar every yeah every 20 steps. So yeah. But if you just want relaxing on the beach, yeah, like Longboat or Anna Maria. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, somebody's recommending Dennis Phillips. Yes. A lot of people follow Dennis Phillips, a uh, local meteorologist yes. for like hurricane content. Yeah. And also there's a lot of St. Pete people on here. If any of you have um, a realtor you love for mm-hmm. the person that asked, feel free to. Yeah. Put them in the chat. Yeah. Um, Easter brunch recommendation. I don't uh, know. If anybody <laughs> has a recommendation, Again, please put yeah. it in the chat. Help, help us yes. out. Help us out. Would you ever consider living on the other side? You know, we love Briefly. we love the Gulf side of Florida. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we'd have to kind of spend some more time over there to decide if if that is something we would ever yeah. like. Really I think consider. we'd try it out. Maybe do like a seven Short month term. lease. Yeah, yeah. Cause see how we like it. Mm-hmm. It's not like we'd go over there and buy a house or anything. But yeah, mm-hmm. we'd, we'd try it out. Uh, ever been to Tap Forty Two in Fort Lauderdale? No, I don't think so. Mm-mm. Sounds like a place we need to go though. Yeah. Oh, somebody's going to Anna Marie in August. Uh, there's a recommendation for a mobile home park. Very okay. affordable. Nice. nice. All right. We'll be going to Siesta in two weeks. Awesome. Oh, that's very exciting. It's very exciting to hear. Okay. All right. Well, it's probably time to, to make the transition. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So oh, Jamie's going to put the link to the channel again and also a link to the video in the comments, so- right? What what we're gonna do here is oh, something kind of live. new. So on the new channel, I'm gonna make this uh, this moving video go live here very shortly, and we're gonna do it's called like a a live preview. So I think we'll in this chat we'll start the video, and I think we'll be able to like live respond to any comments. So if any of yeah. you have yeah, if you want another to six minutes or we'll so, move it over there. yeah, we really appreciate you all joining us today. You know, also just all of the the comments and the questions, um, you know, we always envision these yeah. to be interactive. We're always so nervous about these. It's like, mm-hmm. what if no one ever talk? what if no one talks or asks us questions and it's just us sitting here talking to a computer, but yes, you but guys are so good. You asked so many questions. It's you guys natural. really showed up today. Yeah, not you did. Just, yeah. Not just people, you know, joining and listening in, but everybody in the chat, yeah. everybody that, you know, participated in the polls. Um, thank you again to those of you who sent us uh, the super thanks. Yes. Thank you so um, much. And for all the, all of you that have already subscribed, to the new channel like i think this probably went even better than 
than what we were expecting and we had nothing to worry about. (laughs) Um, So hang on here before we end this. I'm going to try to to figure this out here. What I got to do? Getting all these notifications. Okay. All right. The new video is now public. It's not yet. Okay. Set as an instant premiere. Wait, you don't need to schedule that, do you? Okay. I guess it today is the 30th. We'll do it like a minute from now, if it will. Let me. 10. 10.55. Okay. At 10.55 in one minute, you should be able to watch this video. Uh, save. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to put the link to it, right? Yes, I'll put a link to the channel one more time. And then the we'll, video. we'll meet you all over there, hopefully. Yes. for those, Yeah, I think it's like a six-minute video, so it's not like a huge time commitment. Um, for those of you who want to go and support that new channel, again, we greatly appreciate okay. it. So this first link is the link to the channel mm-hmm. that will take you there. There's only going to be one video on it, so you can just click that link. Otherwise, the second link should take you right to the video. Yes. Okay. All right, let's see if I can get on there. And if it's actually premiering. Okay, okay. It's, got, it's got a countdown. <laughs> so if you go to it, I don't know if you can see that. Two minutes. Yeah, we got a little bit of time here to kind of wrap up. Um, and just, I, I just don't think we can just say thank you enough for all of your support and congratulations. Um, yeah. yeah, we're just yeah. really excited. I think we're still a little, it's still a little nerve wracking. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it'll really hit, I think, when we get Jamie's last paycheck. But <laughs> yeah. at the same time, we're pretty confident that once we take exploration and focus it more on a on a more narrower thing that I think mm-hmm. the channel will take off a little. I think it'll grow pretty quickly and hopefully we'll be sitting hopefully pretty good in a year. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll, All right. Oh, and also, oh, next week? Cool. we're gonna on the new channel. We'll announce, we'll, we'll announce the meetup on both channels. Yeah, right? we'll, we'll make is, sure people know about the meetup for sure. That we've gotten this out of the way. Okay. Okay. All right. All Thank right. you all for joining. Thanks, we'll see you on the other channel.